I'm uh, Robert Massey and I'm here from the Royal Astronomical Society, which is one of the biggest astronomical organisations in the world and we look after the interests of astronomers, not just in the UK but across the world. What I'm going to do today is give you a few pointers to get you started in astronomy, which I think is one of the most incredibly interesting subjects there is. Quite often you'll see adverts that suggest that you can purchase a star name or that you can somehow name one yourself. Now, the bad news is that isn't really possible. You can go out, you can send a company some money, you can get a certificate, but nobody outside of that company and yourself and perhaps your friends will recognise that name. Unfortunately, the only official way to name a star is via something called the International Astronomical Union, a body that designates all of these things. And it's only through them that you can name a star. Now, if you're a, a, a talented astronomer and you go out and you discover a comet, then that might get named after you. But I'm afraid when it comes to stars, it just isn't possible. The same goes for things like planets and asteroids. It isn't like you can just decide that you want to name something like that. Unfortunately, it's a bit more complicated. So my advice is if you've got a bit of money, you're thinking about naming a star, don't spend it on that. Go and buy yourself a telescope or a pair of binoculars instead and enjoy astronomy that way.